You guys, I figured it out. I figured it out. I now know why people watch Tana Mojo. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, it's interesting. I've made a couple videos about Tana and I, I read as many comments as possible and it's just very interesting to me. So when I was reading the comments of I think my last Tana Mojo video about like, are we really surprised that TanaCon didn't go well, right? Like, I was like, wow, Tana and I share a lot of subscribers. And I'm like, where is this overlap? Like, as a mental health channel, how do Tana and I share the same audience? That was really fascinating to me. So what I did was I put a poll up on my uh, community tab to try to find out who subscribed to Tana, why are they subscribed to Tana, and surprisingly, 83% of people said that they weren't subscribed to Tana. But I had so much engagement on that poll, it was fascinating. And looking at the other options and just reading through the comments on it, like there was over 300 comments, and so many people were talking about how they watched Tana because they can relate or to see the crazy thing that she does next. There's a lot of people who say they don't subscribe to Tana, but they still could relate to her which is interesting to me. So I, I wanna talk about a few things here because again, this video isn't about Tana. I don't make videos about YouTubers. I talk about YouTubers to try to teach you to look at yourself and look at your mental health. So YouTube is kind of like the new reality show, right? Where I remember like when I was a hot mess, when my mental health was just terrible, my mental health was awful, my relationships were awful and all that, I could flip on like Flavor of Love, A Rock of Love, any of you remember those, those reality shows? <laughs> or I Love New York, how about that one? But you could watch those and you could be like, oh wow, these people are way me more messed up than I am, right? And it's crazy because my life, my reality, everything still sucked but I would watch that to feel better about myself. Meanwhile, I'm not doing anything to improve myself. And that's why I'm always trying to get all of you to take what you're, you're doing, like who you're watching on YouTube, and kind of evaluate your own mental health. And I've kind of been wondering this for a while because I read a lot of comments, I, I watch Twitter and other forms of social media and try to see who is watching which creators? Like, I'm a very analytical person. I, I I try to monitor like human behavior and you know, the human mind just fascinates me. And something that I've realized is that a lot of people watch creators that they can relate to. That's one of the reasons I make so many videos about creators is because I know you can relate to them. But we need to start seeing like, are we watching people as a form of confirmation bias? So when you look at somebody like Tana Mojo, right? Where her brand is screwing up, living a crazy lifestyle. Like I've talked about this in other videos. Tana is shocked. She is just flabbergasted when crazy things happen to her. But it's like, you guys, when you live a wild and crazy life, crazy things happen to you. Like, I can't stress this enough. My life is a lot different ever since I quit doing drugs and drinking. Now, d now, don't get me wrong, I'm not here to like say, oh, you should be sober or whatever. Like, do you, baby, do you, right? Go out and party, have fun and everything like that. But I have a video that's recently been blowing up about Tana's like potential substance abuse. I don't even know why I said potential. She is abusing substances. But anyways, anyways, like, Ask yourself, like, are you watching these creators to justify your own behaviors? Like, one, one pet peeve that I've had since growing on YouTube is how other creators hate the word influencers, right? And a lot of them use this as a way to kind of not take responsibility for their bad behaviors and all of that. But the reality is, is that we are influencing people. Like you guys, I've had massive growth, massive growth in the last year. Last year around this time, I had less than a thousand subscribers. I think less than 500 subscribers. Now, as of the time I'm recording this, I'm at 41 thousand subscribers. That is exponential growth. And what freaks me out, what freaks me out, but I'm also honored, is when I see people tweeting or talking in our Discord or in our Facebook group, and they say, well, Chris says this, right? And that freaks me out because I'm like, now I have a responsibility, right? Like, what if I give terrible advice or terrible suggestions? Like I said, I'm honored, but I have some responsibility. Now, think about that. I have 41,000 subscribers. 
Somebody like Tana Mojo has millions of subscribers. Now, can you imagine somebody saying, well, Tana would say to do this in this situation. Like that is some very scary stuff, all right? <laughs> like I have an old Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash video that's been getting quite a bit of views. And I recently had a comment on it that said like, oh, that's messed up that you think that people who like, um, uh, admire Trisha Paytas or can relate to Trisha Paytas might need help. And it's like, well, yeah, yeah. Like she is constantly having issues in her life and with her mental health. Like if, if, if you can relate to that and you don't want to get help, like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't a bad thing. Like we are all, I believe that all of us are are our own version of crazy, all right? But like, we look at other people's lives and say, okay, like, is that is that good? Is that healthy? But the other thing that I want you guys to look at is, are you hanging around people who are co-signing your BS, right? And what that means is like, are you having people in your life who enable you? Something I always try to teach you is to hang out with people who tell you what you need to hear and not what you wanna hear. And that's for a very, very good reason. And for example, for example, in my active drug addiction, I was no longer allowed to see my son, okay? His mom took him away from me because I was getting high and drunk and it was just a bad situation. She took him away from me, I wasn't allowed to see him, I didn't see him for months and months and months. And what I would do is, I would go out and I would use drugs and I would party with my quote unquote friends and I'd be like, can you believe her? Can you believe her taking my son away? What kind of woman keeps her son away from his father? And I, I was hanging around people who were like, yeah man, forget her, I can't believe she's doing that. Like, what, what? Like a real friend would have said, yo Chris, maybe you should quit doing so many drugs and try to start seeing your son again. Maybe you should grow up and be an adult, but I wasn't hanging around those people. So that's what we're talking about, co-signing our BS. So are you watching these creators to co-sign your bad behaviors? Or are you trying to watch creators who inspire you to be better, who try to tell you a little something about yourself to motivate you to move forward with your life and become a better person on a daily basis? So again, this video isn't necessarily about Tana Mojo. It's about you. I want you to evaluate who you're watching on YouTube and why you're watching them, all right? That's what I want you to think about. But anyways, anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like, do you watch creators to justify maybe some bad habits that you have or bad behaviors that you have? Or let me know down in the comments below, do you watch YouTubers who push you and try to inspire you to be a better person, all right? Let me know down in the comments, okay? Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And those of you who forgot or didn't know, my brand new book, Rewire Your Anger, is out now and available. It is linked in the description and in the comments. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.